How much does a road cost in your community? How much does it cost over time? Say, 40 years. The answer depends on your approach to maintenance planning. The Life Cycle Cost Calculator quantifies the total cost over the life of a road, allowing pavement managers to compare the savings of different approaches over time. By spending smarter and earlier in time, road managers can plan to improve the life cycle cost of their pavements. Before you move on, it's a good idea to review the About page for the Life Cycle Cost Calculator. Okay, let's get started. First, make sure you're working with the correct units for your location. You'll notice that this calculator has two sides, a gray and a blue. We'll use these to compare different treatment approaches on a given road managed over time. Let's say that I've got a problem road, Maple Street, that needs significant repairs. Here, enter your total paved area for a given project. In my case, Maple Street is 13,000 square yards. In the gray side of the calculator, enter your current approach to managing a road over time. Let's evaluate the cost of managing Maple Street for 40 years. This year, under my current reactive management approach, I'm going to have to do a major mill and fill. Under the treatment column, select mill and fill from the dropdown. In the year column, I'll enter zero since I'm looking at doing the work this year. Notice on the right where a column and constant dollars auto populates. That's the cost of the treatment if performed today. So in year zero, I'm going to do a mill and fill on Maple Street and it's going to cost me $16.64 per square yard. Because we're still looking at present time, inflation hasn't changed the value of this expense. But what happens to that road down the line? Using my current reactive management approach, I expect to do the same repair in about 10 years. Notice that the calculator is taking inflation and future cost into account. It suggests, based on interest and inflation applied to the cost in constant dollars, today's cost, that in 10 years, a mill and fill in my area will cost $27.10 per square yard. That's the future cost. So, what's that worth to me today? If I spend $27.10 in 10 years, it has the same value as spending $21.17 today. It's a basic business concept that $1 today is worth more than $1 tomorrow. That's the present value of the future expense. So where does that get us? In year zero, I mill and filled, the road deteriorated, and I did another mill and fill. It stands to reason that this pattern could continue indefinitely until the base of the road needs major repairs. Let's map that out. Year 10, another mill and fill. Notice the numbers change on the right. Years 20, 30, and 40. Now we've reached 40 years of life on this road. Look at my total figures. Using this treatment plan of reactively repairing my road every 10 years, I'd end up paying the equivalent of $142.67 per square yard after accounting for the time value of money. At the end of the day, that's a total life cycle cost of over 1.8 million for my 13,000 square yard project. But what if I took the opportunity to start doing things differently? Let's move over to the blue optimize approach. This gives you the chance to compare a few options. Try on some planning techniques, and evaluate different approaches to life cycle planning side by side. We're still looking at managing Maple Street for 40 years, but this time with proactive maintenance approaches. In year zero, Maple Street still needs major repairs. Let's look at recycling the deteriorated material by performing a full depth reclamation with four inches of hot mix asphalt on top. Note, the cost of this application is a bit more, but that's okay. We're not just looking at the cost of the treatment, but rather the cost over time. With a strong foundation laid, we can begin to manage proactively. Three years from now, I'm going to apply a rejuvenating fog seal to preserve the surface of the asphalt. Note the cost in constant dollars, future cost, and present value. In eight years, a crack seal. In 12 years, a double lift of microsurfacing, and so forth. Now, I'm proactively managing my road with the right treatments at the right time. Working proactively, I preserve the pavement I've already paid for, intervening higher up the deterioration curve and earlier in time, ultimately saving money. So now, 40 years on the optimized approach, although I've done more work, I was able to achieve 40 years of life with a lower life cycle cost while keeping the road in better condition for taxpayers and achieved a net present value of $88.12 per square yard and a total life cycle cost of $1.1 million. You see, I've saved significantly with an optimized approach. I can spend those savings across the rest of my network, getting the network overall in better shape. Try this method with your own pavements in mind, and imagine how the savings add up over an entire network. It's helpful to keep in mind the right treatment on the right road at the right time, while managing proactively. At the end of the day, preservation and reuse of materials shake out to be a win for the pavement and for taxpayers. For a detailed demonstration, 
or more information on pavement management techniques, visit the Contact Us page on roadresource.org.